Hey, that fish reader, and I know I have not made a video in so long. Um, you guys are probably hella pissed because I have made one in I think like three weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Um, but anyways, I'm really sorry about that. I feel pretty bad, but um, let's not waste any time. So I've gotten some complaints from before that I, my videos are too long, and I agree. The last one was 20 minutes. That's pretty insane. I would probably not want to watch a 20 minute video either so i'm gonna try to keep them with 10 minutes even though i have i'm allowed to like make longer than 15 well i'll see how things go but let's start cracking and save some time all right so as you can see i have uh the lamp here and this is not that great i know it's not uvb nothing but i take him out uh in my backyard my turtle oh yeah by the way i got the turtle yay um I got him on the 20th of, uh, this month, so it's about, uh, about three weeks ago, yeah, so it's May 20th, uh, 2011, so, uh, it's been a while, so he's kind of gotten accustomed to the tank, he's starting to eat from my hand as well, uh, but he's still pretty shy, so if I come close, he's probably gonna freak out, um, anyways, just to wrap things up, here's just a lamp, nothing special, just, I think it's a 50, uh, 50 watt, I want to make it a hundred, so I'm trying to get a bulb soon. Uh, uh, I kind of put this on here so you can get on. Uh, a lot of people think, oh wow, that's probably pretty crappy. But it actually works. He, would, he actually climbs onto these plants and walks on the plants. It almost looks like he's walking on water. And then he comes up here and he basks. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Um, he's really active most of the time. I don't know why right now. But here he is. His name is Pierre, um, I, I was thinking of either Pierre or Achilles, but Achilles is pretty, uh, oh, he's coming up to say hi, how cute. Um, usually, um, I was gonna say his name was Achilles, cause that's pretty damn epic, uh, so excuse my language, but it was pretty cool name, uh, trying to go up for air, there we go. Yeah, I, I like watching him do that, I don't know, it's just so cool, and he just floats here for a while, and he just breathes, and then he goes back down, um, Anyways, so, I was thinking of Achilles, but Achilles is kind of, I don't know, it's more of a violent name, because Achilles, uh, I believe, is a war, he's a war hero from the Greeks during the Bronze Age, and he killed like thousands of people, so yeah, I was thinking of that, but he's actually a pretty chill guy, so I was playing around, uh, I was playing around with him, feeding him, and he's really shy, he does when I brought him out to walk, he, uh, like, not really walk, but I mean, like, put him out in my backyard. He rarely moved around. He only walked a little bit, and then he would sit down, bask a little, and just go back in the shell. I don't know why, but he, was, but when he's in his tank and when he's eating, he's super freaking active. I can assure you. Um, he's really healthy, so, uh, thanks again, James. His name is James Lee, if any of you guys would like me to contact him. I don't know, but maybe you could try uh, buying one from him because he's a really, uh, he buys a lot. He's, um, I believe he has hundreds. He owns a ranch here in uh, California. Um, but anyways, the, uh, I thought I was going to actually get a, what's it called, Diamondback Terrapin. Because that's what his whole book was about. But apparently he also breeds sliders. But I'm fine with that. I, I didn't really actually care if you watch my other video. I didn't really care about the type of turtle. I just wanted one. Um, this guy, he's a yellow... Uh, what was it? A yellow back. Uh, man, why am I not thinking today? Um, but I know he's a yellow slider. But I, I forgot the name. I'm really sorry about that. But um, yeah, he's still pretty cool. He has... He just likes to chill. There he is. <laughs> he's so cute. I really like this guy. Um, he's a hell of a lot bigger than I thought he'd be. Um, I thought he'd only be about this large, or maybe this large. Um, which is about a hatchling. But it ends up, I got a, a yearling. So a yearling is about, just like what it sounds like, it's about a year to a year and a half. And this guy looks to be just a year. So he's still young, but 
because they live till 20, by the way, 20 years old. So I'm gonna have this guy for quite a while, unless, you know, something bad goes. But let's not jinx ourselves, alright? Um, he's pretty cool. For some reason, he sheds his skin a lot. I don't know if you can see, but he has a little bit of skin coming up right there. I don't know why, but uh, I know that they shed. It's just natural for them. Just like how uh, humans, even though a lot less for us, we still shed. Whether you know it, but we do shed skin. Um, and turtles do it far more frequently, but he does it a lot. I don't know, maybe he might have a disease or has problems like... Um, disorder or something i honestly don't know that's why i've been looking into it if any of you guys know why he's shedding so much please let me know uh yeah like it's coming off all the time but it doesn't really bother him he seems perfectly fine with it um as you can see he's really good at balancing he grabs onto one thing and grabs onto another and just you know hangs out um he's pretty cool he oh and the fish so, he's been actually chasing them, but to my oh, this is another reason, by the way, why I called him Pierre, but he's so dang lazy. So, he'd look at a fish, and I bet you he wants to eat it, but then, as soon as he walks one step to get closer to it, to, I guess, eat it, it just swims away, and he stops. He just gives up automatically. So, he's a pretty lazy guy. Um, that's why he, his name was an Achilles, but despite this, he's still cool. He, he likes to swim around and do do awesome things um yeah nothing much really oh yes yes the food so um this is where i feed him in oh yeah i emptied out the container that once had brine shrimp so the brine shrimp are gone i fed him off and i threw him away so sorry guys but brine shrimp is over growing them at least um i might hatch them every once in a while over the summer but not really much um anyways this are these are some pellets he gave them to me for free with the turtle so he's such a nice guy i can i'll tell you guys that um yeah the anyways the pellets they're really nice uh i don't honestly know the brand but he likes them but not as much as the food i bought him i don't know why uh remember the other video the zoomed uh, i mean reptamin uh tetra brand he seems to like this one a little a lot more but um, I don't know why, but he really likes these. The mini sticks, the mini krill, and the mini shrimp. He really likes those. Um, but, uh, that's mainly what he eats. He eats those three. He eats these. And I'm trying to get him to eat lettuce, because I was told by Classy Turtles. Remember, I talked about him before. Uh, Classy Turtles, that guy's awesome. You guys should check him out if you're into aquatic turtles. Um, Classy Turtles. So, anyways, that guy, he told me about I should give him lettuce, and it'll give him a harder shell. So, I tested out his shell. I basically just gently squeezed him. Not too hard, but just a little bit, just to see how much abuse, you know, that his, um, his shell could take. And he was cool with it. It didn't hurt him at all. It was really strong, alright? It's very strong. Um, I couldn't do any damage, so at least I know it's strong. I don't know what, what he's doing. He's eating nothing. Yeah, he's a pretty weird guy. I can, I have no food in there, so I don't know what he's eating. Uh, but oh, and by the way, he occasionally bites at the fake plants. Yeah, these are fake plastic. He occasionally uh, takes a like bite out of it, even though it doesn't come off any of it. I, I'm still kind of afraid that some of it someday might get stuck in him, and he might have problems. You know. So, I need to find some solution. Probably live plants. If any of you guys have any uh, ideas for live plants, please comment below. Uh, or PM me. But anyways, uh, to end up this video, this is just my schedule I have. It's the pellets that I have in here. On Tuesdays, I have the mini sticks, which are these green ones right there. Mini sticks. Uh, then I have on Wednesdays, the treats. So, the treats, I give mini krill. And I give the baby shrimp. So on Wednesdays I have the treats. So as I said before, the mini krill and the baby shrimp. Thursdays I have the pellets again. Friday I tried to give him lettuce, but last week he didn't eat any. So I'm gonna try to get him formulated on that. Uh, mini sticks, uh, these again. 
and then on Sunday he has more treats, and then it starts all over. So that's pretty much everything. Nothing much. I give him water changes, and he didn't seem to mind it. Uh, I keep the tank at about. Well, I just did. I just added some water, so it's kind of cold now. But it's around seventy. Uh, I'd say seventy, but right between, so seventy-seven. Uh, but it's usually warmer, so it's usually 80, 82. But, yeah. That's about it, pretty much, guys. Just wanted to put this out there. I'll put a feeding video probably in the near future. So, just so you guys can see more Pierre in action. Uh, but, yep, he's an exciting turtle. I'm glad to have him. And thanks, James, once again. Um, alright, so that's about it. That fish breeder, sign.